All right, guys, I watched this video for Thursday, September 15th. I'm just glanced at the SPY here. You know, the SPY looked like it was breaking down. Then you had the big up day. But you know what? Now it's hanging around these four-day lows. So it, it definitely doesn't feel very bullish out there. There's not a lot of action. You know, I like the uh, lower price, low float stocks, but I'll trade anything. Um, with that in mind, ACST, I never become a chaser, all right? So this uh, had a huge move today, but the reason I pointed out is it's going to be on watch for the next several days. Anything that can move from $1.40 to over 3 bucks on an intraday basis, I doubt I'll have a trade in it tomorrow, but I might. Um, but this is definitely uh, worth watching if you're a day trader. It is nice to see a low price, low float stock get momentum again because that's been gone, you know, for the last uh, week or two. Um, so it's nice to see that that might get some of them started again. Um, until, and I've really just been playing defense. Um, I, I, I tell my members that whenever I take a trade, I, I hear the basketball audience defense chant in my head. And I wish I were just making that up, but I really do. So after I take a trade, um, I'm only protecting the downside. If it doesn't do what I wanted, I just get back out. So it's been a, a scalpy week or so, um, but still got my streak. I still have my winning streak alive from... I think uh, late June, I think, was my last red day. So, um, although yesterday I only made 28 bucks, um, <laughs> I'm just trying to keep the winning streak alive here. Um, and I do that really mostly through defensive trading, and I always hope for the accidental home run. If something's running and I'm in it, I try to let it run and scale out on the way up. But that's one thing a lot of new traders struggle with is paying yourself along the way, right? Um, I always pay myself along the way. If I take some off the table, for a gain, I promise I won't lose on that trade because I'm protecting my entry after that. So anyway, there's a brief synopsis of my mental state when I'm trading. Um, ACST is going to be on watch for the next several days. BSPM also really nice move today. Going to watch that one just like ACST. Um, Going to keep that one on watch for the next several days. NYMX, much lower volume today inside of yesterday's huge range candle. Um, that one might be ready to turn back up already. We, we don't know, but we'll watch it and see if we get a low-risk setup. DO is diamond offshore. Now, oil's getting slammed lately. Um, but if you look back here, back in January, this thing had massive volume, went all the way down to 14.17. Um, and it's after this big spike a week ago, it's been down four straight days or something. So I want to watch it if it can get anywhere near 14 for an intraday reversal. If I go to the weekly chart, Still, now that's going all the way back to 2011. So this is certainly at you know at near all-time lows, or I don't know if it's all-time lows. It might be. Let's go to a monthly chart. I mean, very very close to all-time lows. If oil catches any kind of a bid, I think this DO is a good candidate down here to watch for a bounce. All right, so keep that one on watch. EPZM, um, no trades in this today, but it's still kind of flagging here, right up near these recent highs. This volume spike back here. Took it to 829. Today's high was 829. So up in the 830s, this one might push higher. It's got nice volume lately. If you look at it on a weekly, um, that's not that not that significant. But um, you got to like this last, you know, I don't know, six sessions. It's hanging out right below 830 and the volume has increased. Looks like it just wants to rip higher one of these days up, you know, if you can get over 830. Um, PRAN, this is a very low volume stock but it had this huge move back here so it has my attention 446 to 669 in one day almost round tripped and then four sessions ago it popped from 465 to 539 that's a nice move and now you're kind of forming whoops you're kind of forming a flag here so if we can kind of break this flag pattern to the upside that one might pop and then lastly i have a very small list today um pstg actually kind of like this as a potential short um, because it's up three days in a row and it had a recent high back here in mid-August of 14. Um, after running three days in a row, if you can push through 14, I would actually look up here for a, a possible intraday reversal to the downside. Um, just for a trade. Remember, I'm a day trader. None of these are overnight hold recommendations. Actually, none of them are recommendations at all. It's just what I'm watching. Um, you know, do your own due diligence and make sure that you understand any trade and the risks involved before ever taking a trade. But that's what I'm going to start with, and hopefully we'll find a couple gap plays to trade as well in the morning. Teamwork's been great in chat. Thank God we have Oki in there. He's like our oil guy. Um, he called SM today. Give you one example. Um, and you can see SM closed at its lows. That's another oil play, by the way, worth watching for a bounce. But Oki called SM 
on a five minute buy setup right here. So over this candle, which was 32.85, 21 cents risk. And look at that, from 32.85, it went all the way to 34.42. And the great thing about Oki, this is a huge move. Then as it started back lower, he called a short in it, somewhere right around here. And then that was a great short as well. So it's fun to have him in the room because when I can't, uh, I can't find much as far as my low price, low floaters, um, in, in low risk setups, it, you can always turn to Oki and his oil plays. He's really got an, uh, a handle on those plays. So it's great to have him in the room. Um, and that's just one example of the teamwork in there. So I'm going to quit babbling. Enjoy the rest of your evening and we'll talk to you tomorrow.